We are at BJ's and we're doing a grocery haul with a multiple store haul, including Walmart and Hannaford's. But first, smash on that subscribe button, tap on that bell, give this video a big thumbs up. Later on in the video, I'll show you what we got, plus our meal plan to the 26th of April. We are at PetSmart getting our mulch for the gerbil. And it is curbside pickup, and Ava is getting the trunk open, and it's already paid for, so that is really cool. My mom would have loved this stuff if they had curbside pickup when we were children. And we got to go over to Walmart and pick up some groceries, as well as BJ's. One seventy-seven for the celery, and that went up again in price by $0.12. Fresh cents. sliced bread for a dollar ten on loaf. We love to get these at Walmart. They're delicious. Getting the premio sausage for $3.83, the sweet one. Having a package of the Great Value Deluxe, $2.87, just as good as crap without that price. Getting two of the pepperonis by Hormel for $2.43 each and the non-spicy one. 24 pack of the ginger ale, $8.78. We're at BJ's getting gas and we just paid $3.93 a gallon for upstate New York. That is pretty great. At BJ's and we're doing the second part of our grocery haul. Let's go grab our items that we need. My husband's walking in front of me, making sure that the car is locked up. We got a few things to get. Nice tea for $6.69, including a coupon. case of the Nesquik for $9.89, and we have a coupon for it too. We are going to be getting a whole chicken. It's for our heat and eat for dinner tonight. We swap things around. They're $4.99 for our three pound bird. That is a great buy. And then we like to use the leftovers for soups and sandwiches. These are normally $1.69 a pound, but we're going to be getting them free with our purchase for the cereal that we're getting, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch for my 12-year-old. That is a really good buy. Getting a case of the Jimmy Dean's breakfast sandwiches for $12.29. The two-pack of mozzarella cheese for $9.49, plus there is a coupon included. Getting the Pick and Pack chips for $7.98. I'm going to get Doritos, and my husband's going to pick one of what he wants for work. Getting the Folgers coffee for $10.99. Getting the Cinnamon Toast Crunch by the case is $6.79. And the bananas are free with the coupon. We're back from the stores. Now I have the table set up so everything will fit. The Oats potato chips we picked up at Hannaford on sale. And I'll tell you what we spent at Hannaford in each of the stores after I show you everything on the table. Got the case of Nest Quick at BJ's. Got a 24 pack of Schweppes ginger ale at Walmart, which is a really good buy for this day and age. The Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches, 12 count at BJ's. Walmart, we picked up the sliced bread. We like that bread a lot. It's really good. It's great for snacking. The celery over at Walmart. Hannaford's, we picked up a slow cooker beef stew. Walmart, a 24 sliced deluxe. Love the great value. It's just as good as craft without that craft price. And then we picked up stewing beef at Hannaford that was on sale for a really great buy. You can see the price right there. 6.24 is the total paying price. Then for about 3.83, we got the sweet Italian sausage meat from Primo, and it's already de-skinned, and we like to roll them up into Italian-style sausage meatballs. We already had some of the subs today because we did the Hannaford's early this morning. I don't have any clips from Hannaford. This was a six pack. And my husband did buy some shaved steak. And we had steak subs for lunch today. Then we did the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Did a case of it for two bags. We picked up some lunch meat. We got two thirty four for the roast beef. We got some turkey. $2.33 and we got some sliced chicken which sounded really good for chicken sandwiches $2.52 now the store of BJ's in my opinion is this rotisserie chicken it is three pounds for under five dollars that's just a great buy and don't buy Doritos at uh, Walmart because they just raised the price again and they shrunk the size of the bag if you have a bulk store like BJ's or Costco's check out their pick and packs you get a size bigger than the family size for around eight dollars and you get two bags and that is a great buy compared to what they charge for the tiny bag at the walmarts then at walmarts we got two things of the pepperoni which is a really good buy my husband likes to keep these on hand for snacking for crackers i like to have them with cheese and crackers or if i make calzones or homemade pizza 
The bananas were absolutely free with the purchase of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. Also at BJ's, we got the mozzarella cheese. This is Jacqueline's favorite. Plus, when I make my calzones and pizzas, I use mozzarella cheese. And my husband got his Lipton tea, and that lasts quite a long time for him. It makes 38 quarts. And this lasts a little bit longer than the Maxwell House from our BJ's. It's because it's a little bigger in ounces. This is the Folgers. It was $10.99. That was a great buy. All of my prices are within our store clips, except for the Hannaford products, because it was this early this morning and I hadn't gone to Hannaford. Then we did a curbside pickup for the bedding for our little furball, our gerbil, who is super cute and a senior and really loves the plushness and the softness of the full cheeks bedding that we picked up at PetSmart. Here is another look. we got to get some foods put away. And get dinner on the table. And then I'm going to tell you what the receipt totals were. What we saved at BG's in coupons. As well as our meal board through the 26th of April. At BG's we spent $69. And we saved $27 in coupons. And then we saved another $11.19 in coupon rewards. And it's listed two different times here. Then at Walmart, we spent $25.11, even with the price raises on some of the things. Celery's gone up twice in the past month. Then Hannaford's, we spent $21.43 for the sale to the stewing beef. The steak shavings we had for lunch today, so that there was no package to show you. And David had gone early, so I didn't go, so there's no store clips. We missed about $122 for our grocery haul for this week. If you're new, this is my menu board and bean meal plan. And we used to do takeout on Friday nights. It is Saturday night. But we stopped doing takeout on Friday nights with all the grocery prices going up. And gas has gone down. It's about four thirteen a gallon here, which is pretty decent considering everywhere else. So we don't want to do pizza out anymore or any of the other... Chinese foods or anything like that. We did homemade pizza. We have the frozen ones in the freezer. Then we did our homemade steak subs, which was really great. And it made three of them, so it made a lot. We got three more sub rolls left. My husband bought a lot of lunch meat from BJ's. I'm going to be finishing up those sub rolls for tomorrow. Plus, there's leftover chicken that I can shred up for Jacqueline, who's really picky. And we'll eat that on a plate and dip it with ketchup. And then the beef stew that was on sale, we're having that tomorrow for our dinner the 10th and for Monday which would normally be a round two meal Monday's round two meals for leftover Sundays we're going to be doing probably more kielbasa that I have in my refrigerator and then we like to do pork on Tuesdays I do Italian nights on Wednesdays and then we have a meatloaf planned for Thursday and then I have the frozen pizzas on hand, so we can have a pizza in one night, or I can make one homemade. And we're planned up through the 26th of April. And it rotates, and it's steam nights. So it's sauce Wednesdays, um, pork on Tuesdays, around two meals on Mondays, or like a casserole or a quick kielbasa. Then we have like chickens, and I have a pork roast in the freezer, a huge one. So we're going to be taking that out and doing a dinner one night and then shredding it up for sandwiches or tacos the next day and make pork tacos. And then we have, which used to be takeout night, which we're going to be doing heat eats. And I have two heat eats that particular night, and that could be anything. It could be meatloaf, kielbasa, it can be frozen pizzas, it can be the frozen dinners by banquet, whatever. And then Saturday, we like to do a lot of beef. We have things switched around because not everything is set in stone. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for shopping with me today. We have giveaways every time we do 100 subscribers. We give out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. We are looking for 14 more people to give out one five items price back from the Dollar Tree valued at $6.25. All the rules for the prizes are listed down below. Before we go, don't forget to smash on that subscribe button, tap on that bell, give this video a big thumbs up.